Hey, it's Lori Ballin in Las Vegas with 365 Days of KW Command. In yesterday's video, I created a tutorial on how to add your KW app link to your call to action button on Facebook. So you can go back and watch that video. If you missed it, I'll put a link above my above here in the video where the little eye is. Anyway, uh, today I'm going to show you how to simply make a Facebook cover because I realized as I was in there yesterday that um, it's probably a good time to add a Facebook cover like I just did here. So we have a few options. I will tell you that just about any picture can become a Facebook cover if you have the right dimensions. That being said, KW Command has already given us some, so we'll go ahead and take a look at those. So once you're in your, on your home screen, we're going to go to the left and we're going to go down to that little sketch pad and that is what opens our designs applet. Now when you first log in here, your screen's gonna look different than mine. It'll be a blank white screen. And if you start clicking through these, you'll notice it's still a blank white screen. In my case, these are actually filters that are sorting through designs I've already created. So this is not where you start your designs. This is where you find your designs once you create them. How you start a design is the little plus sign bottom right. We're going to click that plus and we're going to choose social and then click next. From here on the left hand side, you're going to go down to business basics, social branding. And here you're going to find Twitter covers, LinkedIn covers and Facebook covers. Basically, each one being the correct size that that social media platform calls for. Okay, so let's just say we want to do this welcome home one. We're going to click use. Now, anything on the here is now editable. Edit to editable. <laughs> you can drag things around. You could take that sun out and put something else in its place. I could put take that car out and put my picture on here instead if I wanted to, whatever you want to do. But for the sake of keeping this very easy, I'm not going to change those things. Now here, where it says KWDBA logo, I'm going to replace that with mine. So I'm just going to delete it, and then I'm going to go to my library. I'm going to find my logo and click the little plus sign. Put that down there. I don't know how that's going to look once we size it up on the on Facebook so we'll leave it right about there now if you also don't know where to get your DBA logo I've got a video on how to do that as well all you have to do is go to add once you have saved your DBA logo you're gonna click drag and drop an image and you'll find it on your computer but if you watch the video in the info cards above where the little eye is there's a video that shows you where to go get your uh, DBA logo okay all right, next we're just going to title this Lori Ballin Team Facebook Cover. Maybe I'll put Las Vegas. I'm always thinking about SEO because images do get indexed on Google. So Lori Ballin Team Las Vegas Real Estate Facebook Cover. Then I'm going to click the little arrow download. We're going to download everything just as is and click start download. All right, in a minute, it'll pop up, giving us the opportunity to save it. Again, this is another place where you could rename it. Save as, so well, that doesn't look right. Lori Ballin, Team, Las Vegas Real Estate Facebook page. All right, save. Now we're going to go to my business page. We're going to click on Change Cover. Now we could make this a slideshow where the pictures actually rotate from one to the next, or you can just add one single photo. So if you were to go to edit slideshow, you can see here that my first image is, in, is right there. Now, if I wanna add this new image and make it the second one in the slideshow, I'm gonna click the plus, choose from photos. Whoops, I'm sorry, not choose from photos, upload photos, or video works here too. And we're gonna put our new one that we just put from KW. Now let's put that in the front so we can see that one first and then click save. That looks great. <laughs> I really like that one. See there? Now 
if we wait, let's see, was that going to rotate automatically or do we have to click it to get, okay. So I think we have to click it on the next one to get it to rotate. So I think we can put five of those up there. So you can just choose one or you can cho choose multiple. One thing you might do is you could choose your welcome home as your main one. And then you could do photos of your listings on two, three, four, or five, or photos of you with your designation award, or the second one could be a video of you, you know, running up to a house or something. There's all kinds of things you can do. But today I just wanted to make sure that I showed you how to uh, create those Facebook covers for your business pages.